Hi guys, how are you doing? It's Dom here from Wobbling About Rocking Out and Give Me Your Whole Yeah. Um, I want to do this uh, interview with Anthony from the Anthony Podcast, uh, one of my favourite YouTubers. He has uh, cerebral palsy as well um, and uh, he's obviously created some great content um, and he's a real deep, he's, he says it himself, he's a real deep thinker. And I, and, I, and I, you know, this is more like a conversation than it is an interview. And it is a long one, and I wanted to keep it all there. Uh, some personal stuff, uh, some some cool memories about uh, you know YouTube content and creating, some good advice for young people, uh, whether you're into wrestling or boxing or UFC or or whatever it is you're into. Um, you know, Anthony's got some experience, so hopefully this is useful to you. Hopefully this is uh, you know enjoyable uh, to some at least. And thank you so much for supporting us, and we appreciate it. All right, take care. Cheers. So I am here today with the Anthony podcast and host Anthony, who has been a great supporter of uh, of, of my work and the work of other YouTubers uh, with differences and disabilities. Uh, you have thousands of subscribers, people that support what you do, Anthony, and obviously you've had some great interviews on your channel. Um, I ask. All of my interviewees, this when we start the uh, the interview, because people give different attitudes to this, give different answers. So, what is your attitude to success? What does success mean to you, as a person, Anthony, but also as a YouTuber as well? I, I think, I think that when it when it comes to when it comes to YouTube, I think what what I got success by is the it's people just enjoying my stuff and, and the way people respond to my content. Like if I if I can if I can inspire somebody to make their own their own content then I think that I believe that is what success, what success is yeah, yeah, absolutely, man, absolutely. And, and I think, that, you know, it's interesting because did you expect the the kind of outpouring of, of love and support you received? You know, because, again, you're, you're, you've you been doing it for a little while, but, you know, a lot of YouTubers work for years to get the amount of subscribers you've got. Were, were, were you expecting the amount of support you got uh, and, and you continue to receive for your channel? Yeah. So, so I did be... I, to be to be honest, because of my because of my disability, yeah, I I know I knew people could I knew people could sort of grow grow a trait towards me, mm -hmm. yeah, because we still because it's still because it's not many people it's not many people that have a severe type of cerebral palsy that do what I do. If you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, do you, I think we've talked about this before off camera, but do you think then that your disability has um, uh, has it helped you as a YouTuber in terms of getting that exposure? Do you think your disability has a lot to do with that? I, 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 I would say, I would say to agree to a degree. Yes, but I've obviously, I've obviously got the personality where I can, where I can, where I can relate, relate with people as well. Mm. I would say my disability to know a fact, yes. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and obviously, you know, your, your, your interview style, you're very welcoming, you're very, you know, you're very engaging as an interviewer. What has sort of being a YouTuber taught you about kind of, I guess, talking to people, communicating with people, because again, it's challenging to, to not only talk to people anyway, in, in a general sense, but also on YouTube, on camera, you know, where it's going to go out to an audience. I think, I think one of the biggest things that I've learned is that I need to understand, that, I'm gonna, that I need to try and enunciate Probably not speak at a million miles per hour. Because mm. when people meet me in real life, if I know them, 
if I know them quite well, yeah, my speech can get, my speech can get, my speech can get slower, yeah. Mm. That's not even the word, but, it you is, know. I know exactly what you mean, yeah. yeah. Because, because, because I know them, so I don't, I, I internally don't feel like I have to try and speak as clearly as, as a candy, yeah, that makes right sense. It do, it does ab- absolutely. Uh, and, and do you feel because again, you know, um, sometimes being an interviewer, being on camera, and, and having your own sort of channel, there's a lot of pressure in that. I wonder how, um, you know, do, do, when you do an interview, do you feel, um, do you get like tired after you've done it? Do you feel worn out after you've done it because you put a lot of effort and energy into into not only speaking but also your research also you know the conversation to make it interesting for people and i'm wondering what effect that has on you uh physically mentally you know once you've finished an interview what's that like to be to be honest it's probably it's probably the opposite i'll probably make i probably it probably get me to alert to alert or as i like to say to what to why I did feel if you know what I mean. Yeah. Like if like if I'm doing if I'm if I'm doing an interview at two o'clock on my evening, for example, I complete my country, I'm not gonna sleep <laughs> that night that yeah. night. Like only like only because of the editing, but also but also because I'm a very, I'm a very deep thinker. So I, so I just think about how did the, how did the interview go? Did I come across in the right way? How are people going to perceive the interview and that sort of thing? Mm, mm. I, I, you know, I, I've been a big fan of your work for a long time. And one of the things that, you know, I, I'm, I'm always impressed with is, again, the, the amount of work you do, the editing and everything. Can you talk me through the process for you then of, you know, what's it like, you know, to, to, you know, in terms of getting your interviews, in terms of editing them, you know, what, what is it, I guess what I'm trying to ask you is in a long way, is what's a typical day like for you when you're uh, creating content? So, so if I, so if I, if I, if I need, like, if I, if I want, if I want to get an interview, I normally, I reach out to them on, Social media, or, or if I'm, or if I'm doing a solo video where I'm just speaking to camera, speaking to camera, I will, I will prepare what I want to say. Like I'll do like, I'll do like a little, a little script in my mind. So, so yeah, that's 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 basically what I do when I want to. Be, yeah yeah uh, what what about, what about the editing what about the editing um process um what's that like for you because because again your disability affects you in much different ways than say mine or or our friend tom talks rubbish you know we all have very different uh so you know elements of, of cerebral palsy so can you talk us through your, the the challenges you have editing because you edit all your own content as well and i think that's something that that uh that people, you know, will be interested in. What's that like? How do you make that happen? Yeah, so for the people that don't, for the people that don't know, I have, I have one of the more severe types of cerebral palsy, so it affects my arms. So I, I don't know whether people can see, but I can only use my, my left, my left hand. So when it comes to things like editing, it takes me. It takes me quite as long to do it. So, so for example, for example, an edit that might take you five minutes. It might take me fifteen or half an hour. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. 
Absolutely. And, and do you, you know, what, what is it that motivates you then? Because obviously, again, a lot of effort, a lot of effort, a lot of time, a lot of energy goes into your channel, more than most people or many people will realise. So what is it that motivates you? Is it is it as simple as the subscribers and people that support you? Or are there, are there outside motivations? So people in your life, family, uh, you know, other YouTubers, people that motivate you because, again, you do have to spend you know, extra time doing your edits and extra time, you know, creating your content. So what is it that, that keeps you going on those days where you, you, you know, you, you're feeling it, you're feeling that tiredness, maybe a little bit more. Because when, because when I first started doing interviews, I wanted, I wanted, to, I wanted, to, I wanted to become like a, I don't know how to describe, but I would call it like a, professional interviewer and mm. work for and work for one of the bigger platforms if you know what I mean mm. like either boxing or wrestling or whatever it is so that so when I first started interviewing I, that, that I would be lying if I, if I said that I was not in the back in the back of my mind but when I first started interviewing it was during the even during the pandemic. Mm. So, so in terms of interviewing, I just did it because I was bored. But I actually started making content way back in 2011. I used to do res wrestling reviews. Amazing. Uh, and basically the reason why I started doing that is just, just because I wanted to talk about the, the wrestling, like you do with, like you do with, like you do with your mates, if you know what I mean. I do, I, I, absolutely, man, absolutely. So, what have you? What's the biggest lesson then? What, what? How would you say you've changed and developed from that person, 2011, Anthony, to 2022, Anthony? What's the biggest thing you kind of learned about yourself? Doesn't necessarily have to be podcast related, but what 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 what's the best? What's the the biggest lesson you've learned about yourself? That, that I I think I think what I've learned is that because I I think it's ready. To, I think it's ready to take when you when you're younger. You do take, you do tend to take a lot of the criticism to heart. Oh yeah. And and, and what I've learned is that opinion, that opinions are like that size. Everybody, <laughs> yeah. Everybody yeah. got one. So you just you just you just have to do whatever whatever like, whatever makes you happy. Yes. You can listen. You can listen to constructive criticism, but I think it's dangerous to to let it guide you. If you know what I mean. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, man. And, and that's interesting. What's the biggest kind of bit? Bit. What's the best bit of advice you've received? Then, not necessarily. Again, not necessarily YouTube wise. But I mean, if if you think it's relevant, absolutely. But what's the best bit, bit of advice you've received? What's the most useful? Um, you know tip that you've taken into your content and into your life really perhaps I I I would I would say I would say when people say to me talk at you talk at your own speed don't don't talk fast just because you think you have to talk fast if you want to talk slowly and just take your time then that then that's okay even even nowadays so I do it like sub subconsciously. I think I have to talk really fast and be like really charismatic, like a lot of people do. But I I think it's better when I just speak slowly and I just I just take my time. Mm. Mm. I don't yeah. know whether that answers your question. It, do, it, do, it does answer my question, yeah. And I think, you know, it's a lesson I've learned from you. Uh, actually, you know, since I've been watching your content, and that's something that I, I do want to say how I've learned from your work is, 
because I have ADHD and obviously I get quite anxious and nervous, I, you know, as a person, I, I've learned to slow my speech down quite a bit uh, watching you because I really admire how you pause and how you reflect on things and how, because I, I can get caught up with just carrying on going. And I really like, and I really respect how you're able to reflect, r respond, and then, you know, just, just pause and, yeah. you know, and, and that's amazing. I think it's a great skill that not everybody has. It, uh, the, the, reason, the reason why I do that is because, the, because, of, my, because of my disability, my, my brain, my brain goes faster than my, than my body will let, mm. let me, let me go, so, like sometimes in my mind, I can be, too, I can be two sentences there. It's on my mouth, but yeah. I, st I still could get the words out. So as I say, I just like to like, slow down and take my, take my time. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I, it's a great skill that not every interviewer has that you do have. And I think that that's, you know, that it, it really helps, I think, in terms of the flow of the interviews. So, you know, certainly I've learned from, from, from you in that way. Um, in, in terms of then, before we go on to some personal stuff, uh, in terms of your goals for the future, in terms of YouTube, because again, you've, you've done amazing things with the content and as disability aside, the content itself is really informative. You really engage people. You make people think, and I wonder, you know, what is your what is your goal? Because you don't just do wrestling stuff. You do boxing, you do UFC, you've done all kinds of stuff. What do you want to achieve? Where do you want to be, you know, in the next two or three years with uh, the Anthony podcast, with your channel? Me, me, being on, being 100% honest, I don't, I don't, I don't really, I don't, I don't really know to be honest. I guess I would say I would, I would, I would be interested in working on. Obviously, I'm gonna keep my own channel, but I would, I would be interested in working on bigger platforms where I, where, I do, where I don't have to worry about do not the editing or like any of the, any of the night, any of the night, and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where can you where I can just turn up, talk about something, and then I can and then I can leave, if you know what I mean. Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. Well, I you know, I think there's um before, there's, on. Yeah. I don't mean to cut you off, but before no, no. we go before we go into the personal stuff, I do I do I do I do want to mention being 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 pers persistent in making in making content because I, I feel like I feel like nowadays people people make content for two or three weeks and then they don't see any de development from it so then they give up and mm. as and as I say I've been making content for, for well over a decade. And it's only been over the last two two years when I got a shout out from you know the true Jordy. You know the true Jordies. Yeah. Yeah, true Jordy, yeah. Yeah. But basically, he, he, he gave me a plug on his channel. And that's how my channel got and figured it out. So yeah. the basic point. The basic point is, I will let, I will say to be, I will say to people, if you want to make content, don't give up after the first week or so. Week or so. Mm -hmm. uh, absolutely, and I think you know, I do. I, I will squeeze one in there about you know making content, you know, in, in in various ways because again, you have found a way to make content that suits you. So for anybody else with uh, a similar level of cerebral palsy or someone with any difference and, and, and disability um what would be your key tips because again you're you know you're making content from your bed you know a lot of people would 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 you know they they, they, they would think oh that's not possible how you know how is he doing that so so 
what would be your key tips for anyone who who looks at you is inspired by you but doesn't think they can you know doesn't think they can get to your level get to where you're at I, 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 this is going to sound really basic, but I would say just, uh, just, uh, just, uh, just find, just find something that you like, and then just, uh, just, just turn on the camera and start talking about it because it, it, even like, even though I've been, I've been doing my thing for over a decade, I have, I have not, I have not always talked about. It. The same thing, like, as I said, I did re wrestling videos, and then I did music videos, and now I'm doing interviews. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, don't be afraid to, don't be afraid to try to fight. Mm. Uh, like, you know what I mean? I do. Uh, experiment, 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 like, Experimentation is really important. I feel like. Mm, mm, absolutely. What What is your setup? You know. So obviously. So again, we we can only see we we can see you and we can we can hear you very well. You you know you uh, you got your microphone, you have got your webcam. But but again, for people that are interested in how you set up from your bed, where you do all of your content, all the major, you know, you do all the content there. Um, how what is your setup? What camera do you use? What microphone? And, and how is it set up? Uh, for you, so, so basically, I have a I have a little table that goes over my bed here, and my dad, like he created, but uh, you a hospital table. They yeah. have a really, they have a really small top, don't yeah. they? You're tiny, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so my dad created a bigger top, and we and we got everything that road down to the table. So I've got my I've got my I've got my T V remote. I've got my phone. I've got my joystick. And obviously I've got my I've got my MacBook and everything else. Mm. Mm. It's, 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 and that and that's a it is a cool setup. Um then you know in terms of your I guess this blurs the line a little bit between, you know, being a YouTuber and your personal stuff. Um, you know, what, what, uh, for those, you know, that don't know your inspirations outside of podcasting. So you mentioned your dad there. What are the kinds of people and places and, and things that you, uh, that you are motivated by outside of podcasting? What stuff inspires you? Yeah, you know what, I'm there. I'm I'm never really for that thing. I'm never really for that thing like that to be honest. Being on being on the honest. I don't I don't I don't really know who inspired me like in real in real life. What do you mean by real life? Do I know. Mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um so you mentioned obviously you've got your family there. So do, do, you know, to what extent do you do your family motivate you, but also uh, you know, think about uh, say you know, any kind of uh, movies you like or any music that you like as well, things that, you know, that, that motivate you uh, outside of outside of the podcasting sphere? Like, 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 so, 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 so wrestling by me, that, that guy, because when you look at somebody like Brian Danielson, for example, he was, he was he was grinding for de for a decade and a bit before he forgot before he forgot a chance to go to WWE or anything like that. Yeah, good point. Yeah, yeah. In, in terms of my family and things like that, the chickens are really bad, but they don't, but they don't they don't really inspire me like that. Mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, I, I I get what you mean, and I, but I guess obviously you know for those, I mean, for, as an extension of that, then for those who have the, the people that have watched your channel, the people that have engaged with you, 
you know, what is your message to them? You know, those people that have supported you, what would you like to say? And obviously the people that will continue to support you as well as you continue on in your career as a YouTuber, what is your message to them? What would you like to say to them uh, for, for, you know, again, for supporting you and for getting behind you? This is going to sound really cliche, but I, I, I want to say thank you for the support. A lot of people, a lot of people say thank you for the support, but I feel like sometimes it can come across as, as a bit hollow. But I, I, I get, I genuinely, I gen, I genuinely don't think I, I don't think I would have the confidence that I have today if it wasn't for, if it wasn't. If it wasn't for people in, enjoying my stuff, because yes, it's good, it's good to make content, but, but well, but when people actually enjoy your stuff, it does, it does fulfill you with a lot of, with a lot of enjoyment. Mm. I would say, I think everybody will, everybody can admit that. That when we first started, we 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 all wanted a bit of gratification. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it, it's 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 great, and it's great to see how your channel has grown as well. You know, you've done so well, uh, and not uh, and not and not because of. And this is one of the things I wanted, you know, wanted to ask you. I've got four four or five more questions now. You know, your your interview skills are what really drags me into your content, and. I wanted to ask you, you know, for anybody who wants to get into podcasting, wants to become an interviewer, it's not as easy as it sounds, is it? And I, and I wanted to ask you, what are your key tips? What three things for anybody watching you or anybody else, you know, any other interviewer on YouTube, what, what would you want to see from somebody? And also, Anthony, what mistakes should people avoid making as an interviewer? So, I was, what was the first thing? The first bit, the first bit was, um, what key tips, what three key tips would you give to anybody who wants to be an interviewer on YouTube on what they need to do uh, to prepare for an interview? And then also, the second part of the question... Well, not the, I don't mean to cut you off, but can I take it on me at a time? Yeah, of course, mate. Yeah, there you go, you see, I'm learning as well. So, first part of the question is uh, what key tips, what three key tips would you give to uh, to anybody who wants to be an interviewer working on YouTube or working on a podcast? I think, I think the most important thing, when you, when, you approach, when you approach people, whether it's somebody that has a million followers or somebody that only has 500, you have to, yeah, when you approach them, come, come, try to come across with a very like, with a very relaxed attitude. Uh, attitude. But that does not mean, that does not mean that be polite. Obviously, come across as very, very respectful, but also don't, don't take it down too seriously, if you know what I mean. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and also, if it, I, I, I would think it's better to reach out to reach out to people via video because because uh, sometimes if you just shoot them a message via text, it can it can get lost in the crowd in the crowd if you know if you know what I mean. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So that personal connection is what you're talking about. Yeah. Mm. And, and as I say if you're reaching out to someone in your and you haven't built up the reputation that that people know you, well, not you know what I mean when I say know you, because obviously as you as you go along, you will be you will be you will build a reputation a reputation. So if you just if you just started out in the game, I would say. I would say, I would say, just, just be, just be yourself, and, and just, and just ask, and just ask people, because what the worst 
that they can say that I belong to the rich one, which is fair. Or they're going to say, no, thank you, I can't. Right now, like it's not, like it's not the end of the world. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, uh, absolutely, man. Absolutely. And I think you've answered most of my next part of that question, which was, you know, what mistakes should people avoid making? But do you have any other things that crucially perhaps you've learned or you've seen somebody else do that you would say, you know, someone should avoid doing if they're, you know, going for interviews or going to, to try and, you know, connect with people? Yes, definitely. I, I would say if, I would say if somebody agreed to come on, your stuff. Don't try. Don't try it. And your wedding, like, like, don't try it. Don't try it for it to happen immediately. Cause I bet. Cause when I first started, I I had people say yes, but because I was because I was too forceful, forceful. And what I mean by that is. They would say yes, and I would be like, "Okay, well, okay, when when can when can we do can, can we do it tomorrow?" Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Good like, like reading really over over eager. Yeah. 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 Over eager. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so you kind of messaging people, you know, sort of messaging people to do it, you know then and there almost when actually you know sort of saying give people a bit of time no, i guess what i'm trying to say you can't do yeah <laughs> yeah if, yeah if somebody says yeah then great but you can't do it it does not have to be done immediately absolutely absolutely man and now uh, a couple more questions then um what is the biggest misconception then that you would like people to know? So, so, so the, the sort of biggest thing that people maybe think about you as a YouTuber or as a person that you would like to clear up. So maybe a perception that people have of you as a YouTuber or as, as a person that you'd like to clear up something you'd, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, do you know what I mean? Like a perception about, yeah. about you as a person. Yeah. That I'm not, that I'm, that I'm not, that I'm not a moron. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's going to think that, man. But anyway, carry on. Sorry, I interrupted you. That, that, well, obviously, what I mean by that is just, be, just, because, just because I might not speak as clearly as I'm not talking about you, but I'm just, I'm just saying to the wider public, just because I might not speak as clearly as as somebody else might do. That did not mean that I'm not, that I'm not intelligent or, or, or I can't rac rationalise my own thoughts, if you know what I mean. Absolutely, absolutely. And I mean, I, I think that comes across in your content that you're able to do that. But yeah, it's interesting. People do make assumptions. And I, I wanted to just wanted to ask you about that. Uh, how you felt about it really so thank you for clearing when, that up when when i when i was when i was younger you'd, obviously as i said before we we i when we when we when we're younger we tend to care about what people think a lot a lot more so when i was younger it used to really it used to really bother me with the people were people that I didn't know, but I was stupid or whatever. But as I got older, I let I just I just let them think what they want. To be honest, I get I get more I, I get more bothered by it if somebody if I you know if I made a mistake in front of you for for example, it it would it would bother me a lot more. Then he will made a mistake in in front of somebody that I, that I didn't that I didn't know, for example. Mm, mm. Yeah, absolutely, uh, absolutely, man. I I understand that completely. Um, uh, uh, again, a couple more questions uh, before we finish uh, up. Uh, Go on, can, sorry. I, can I just get my breath? I'm oh, sorry. Of course you can, mate. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Take your time. 
I, I, I've got so many questions for you, mate. I could sit with you for a couple of hours. Um, you know, I'm, I'm always very motivated by what you do. Yeah, um, go, you can go in there if you want. So. Uh, thanks, mate. No, take your tat. You're all good. Um, the 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 one thing I want to do is sort of pull back the curtain, so to speak, on your a little bit as much as you're comfortable sharing on your life outside of YouTube. So so what what is a typical? You know, I asked you about a typical day as a content creator earlier. What is a typical day for you like in general? Like, what kind of things do you do during your day? What 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 do you what do you kind of get up to? Out, you know, when 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 the camera's off, so to speak. To be, to be honest with you, yeah, I don't I don't really do a lot. I just I just wake up. I do I do what I need to do in the morning. Obviously, mm. obviously normal stuff. Like I don't know whether you want me. I don't know whether it will be too personal for you, Dom. But I wake up. I get I get in games. Mm. Uh, and then, and then basically I just want. YouTube videos or what I watch the film or yeah. things like that to be to be honest. And yeah. what I mean what I mean by getting changed I cause I wear I wear black, I wear pads because it just it's just easier it's just easier for me to wear them rather than having to be moved tw yeah. twenty times a day. If you know what I mean. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. And thank you for sharing that with me as well. Um, thank you for, for taking the time to share that stuff with me. You mentioned movies there, like typically, because we're, we're big fans of movies and music and stuff on, on the stuff we do, obviously. What kind of what kind of movies do you watch typically? Uh, what are your favorite uh, favorite films? I, 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 I like I, I like I, I like I, I can, I like your movie, I like, I like a bit of comedy though, every now and again. I like a bit of everything, to be honest. And it's the same thing with my musical taste. Obviously, I have ones that I prefer over other ones. Say, for example, I prefer action over comedy, for Comedy, for example. But I still like comedy, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I'm a big action comedy fan. Have you got like one film or a couple of films that come to mind that you'd recommend people to watch if they haven't seen it? Uh, I'll put you on the spot, haven't I? <laughs> I, I, I literally, mate, all, 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 the, all of my favourites are the basic ones. Like, I love things like Spider-Man and, and the Marvel Universe. Yeah, man, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm a big fan of the Marvel Universe. Uh, to be fair, I even liked uh, I even liked the DC stuff, you know, like Venom and Morbius. Nobody likes that, but I think it's cool. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a big nerd. I like, I like any CBO movie, even, even the ones that are university, that are universally panned. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but... excuse me. I, I like I like them as well. Yeah, so. yeah, absolutely. Have you seen Moon Knight yet? Have you watched that series? It's really good. Uh, I, I have not watched it yet, but I, I know it's on. I know it's on Disney Plus. So yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna get to that. I'm probably gonna get to that soon. Can I go back to Quaid Knight? Like, 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 yes. Earlier, yes. You know you, you know you said who inspired who inspired you in real life. Yeah. I, I would, I would, I would say, I would say my parents because because, because my parents, I, my parents have been looking at, I've been looking at me since. So, so, so for the for the people that for the people that are not aware of my yeah, not I've spoken like this before before. Mm -hmm. I I've never I've never met I've never met my my like my biological 
friends. Mm. So, where, so when my, so when my mom and, so when my mom, when my mom and dad decided, I'm going to, we're going to keep him and look at him. I, I, I could, I could not look at somebody with cerebral palsy. So I guess in that sense, they, they inspire they inspire me as well. Mm. Mm. That's ama- amazing. And thank you for sharing that again, like some insights into your personal life. Cause uh, you know, it's, 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 a, it's, a, you know, it's very interesting again, you know, that, that, that you've been able to do all this stuff and you have had supportive, you know, role models like your parents, you know, there, but you know, people might not necessarily know that, that, uh, that they're not your biological parents. So thank you so much for, for, for sharing that with me. You know, they must be, you know, they must be really cool people. I hope to, I hope to hang out with you personally one day and, and perhaps meet your, your family as well. They sound cool. I, I'm sure, I'm sure when, we, when we get to the end, you will allow me, you will allow me to promote my stuff. I, 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 I do, I do, I have spoken like this on my, on my, on my channel before, so if, if, so, so if people want a bit more detail, they can go there. Absolutely, absolutely. We gotta love a bit. Of, we love a bit of promo, man. And we are gonna do that in a, in a, in a questions time. Just two more to finish off. Uh, you know, in terms of your, the the content you're most proud of. I know you've spoken a little bit about this stuff before, but the content you're most proud of, the, the one that or the, the few videos or a couple of videos where you, you you're like, I can't believe that happened. I'm really proud of that. You know, uh, what what are a couple of videos and examples? Uh, that, that you would like to share of, of content that you're super super proud of. For me, for me, it would have to be when I when I interviewed Lauren McKenna, Lauren McKenna from the from the True Geordie YouTube channel, and 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 I interviewed Jack, Jack mate. From the from the from the happy hour podcast. Yeah. So, so they were they were two of my favorite interviews that I've done in, in, in terms of my best interviews. I would say I would say the interview that I did, the interview that I did with you. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Like 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 it. And I do, and I genuinely do believe that as, as well. Thank you, man. Thank you. No, it was it's an absolute pleasure. Like like I say, you know, this is this is about promoting your work. But but one of the things you know that that I do want to say is that you know how much motivation and it's not about your your disability. It was not, you know obviously that's cool. You know obviously we have different levels of cerebral palsy. But you know the fact that you you've taught me to be a better interviewer. Uh, the fact that you've also, you know, uh, you're so approachable as well. And, and just, you know, because again, you've got thousands of subscribers and people, you know, like I say, people uh, think certain things about that when you get to that level of success and you're very approachable and very supportive of other channels and other, and other, and other YouTubers. And I, and I think that's a testament to, to you. And that was one of my favorite, favorite ever interviews to be a part of as well. Do you want do you mind if I, I know this is your series, but do you, do you, do you mind if I ask you something quickly? Absolutely. As I did say, you people, people might be inspired by me, but there was there was, there was some time where I think, why, 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 why are you in, why are you inspired by me? I me, mean, I, I don't, I don't really do, I don't really do anything. Did that make sense? Yeah, I, I get that. The imposter syndrome, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. But what it is, what it is, and I, and I think for me, you know, this is just speaking for me personally. It, it's not, you know, again, and I have to be specific here and clear that it's not just about your disability. That's a, you know, that of course that's a part of it because it's inspired me to believe in myself more. 
you know, because I don't have the struggles that you have. Uh, so that's part of it that's inspired me. But also, again, it's the quality of your work and how much you engage with people uh, and how much that you genuinely give a, you know, I, I tend to swear, but I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to not swear. Um, I, how much people, you know, how much you give a, 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 a shit, I'm going to do it. How much you give a shit about, 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 about the people you're interviewing. And because not everybody does, people just look at interviews as like, they, they reel them out, you know? And, and I, I always admire the, the, the thought that goes into your work. And that's one thing that I, that I like to think I've taken on is that I really research and I really care about the people that I speak to. Uh, I, I, I'd like to think that anyway. So, so that's, for me, one of the reasons why, or many, one of the many reasons I'm inspired by your work. Um, I get, I, sorry, I, get, I guess so. Um, what I, what, I was, what I was saying, what, what I was trying to say, what, say, say, in the, say that it bothered you in a 20 minute video like the boxing, boxing for example, even, even, like, even though I appreciate even though I appreciate the kindness, I I like I I I spent I spent I spent twenty minutes talking talking like this. A lot of people a lot of people can say that I'm an inspiration. You know you know what I mean. I spent I spent I spent twenty minutes making a really good. Thing. Like in a really good video. Uh, I look at, uh, yeah, uh, I get it. I, I, I get it, man. Yeah, I have it all the time. Like, when it because obviously, like, I interview bands, you know, and, and I'll be like, you know, uh, the bands of the uh, fans of the band will, will, will message and say, Oh, I didn't know you had cerebral palsy, you know, that's amazing. So it's like the inspiration porn thing, isn't it? People, people look at people in our position and also athletes, you see it a lot with athletes. And they do, you know, they're Paralympians and they're, you know, traveling the world, but people just focus on the inspiration side, which is why I was clear in my, when I said to you, it's not, it's, it's to do with the quality of your work, you know, the, 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 and the quality of your interviews that I think, you know, because as, as an interview, someone that you've interviewed before, you make me feel at ease. You make me feel like I matter, you know, like like that I am important to you in that moment. And that's what I'm talking about. That's really that's not something everybody can do. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I got I apologize for inter interrupting the flow of your show. No, no, absolutely it's, it's an interesting point. You know, it's an interesting point you make, the inspiration thing. You know, I, I use the word inspiration for you. But, but it's interesting, your relationship with it, because again, not everybody wants to be an inspiration. People want their content to speak for itself. And I'm getting the vibe that that is your mission as a YouTuber is to get to the point where people no longer call you or, or don't focus on the inspiration side of it. They focus more on the quality of your work. The way I look, the way I look at it, yeah. you know, people got to know me behind the camera. They, 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 they would like, they would like go in, inspiration, inspiration. I talk, can I, I'm a bit, I'm a bit lazy, I'm a bit, can I, can I swear? No, of course you can, yeah, of course you can, go for it. I, I'm a bit lazy, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cool, man. Uh, but again, it's all, it's all, it's all peeking behind the curtain, and I appreciate your honesty as well, because you're not trying to be something that you're not, and that is also something that obviously YouTubers, a lot of YouTubers, uh, you know, they put a front on, right? And 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 that's not what you're doing, you know. You what you see is what you get with with the Anthony podcast and with you, which I yeah. admire as well. Yeah. 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 Cool. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll got, uh, the last question is the plugging one. All right. So this is where you can plug a anything you want. Uh, where can people find you? What do you want to promote? Is there anything coming up on the channel that you can speak about that you want to talk about? So no, in, in, terms of my, in terms of my socials, you can follow me at 
at underneath at underneath the whole swan. That's the number one. The same thing on Instagram in terms of content coming up. I've got, I've got an interview coming out, coming out with our good friend, Tom Dorubi. Indeed. On Wednesday, 4pm 4, 4 UK time. So go and, go and get that out when it drops. Or it might, or it might have already dropped by the, time, by the time it comes out. And... If you wanna go, if you wanna go, and if you wanna go and follow the podcast on on any other on any other platforms, I would really appreciate it. And I think I follow. Give me, give me a oh yeah. Yeah, there you go. Love it, man. Love it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, well, we're very, very, very lucky to have you, mate. Thank you so much for your time. Obviously, you know, I love talking to you. Um, and I could, you know, we'll do it. We'll do many interviews in the future, I'm sure, uh, based on your work and what you're doing. So, I, I, it's, uh, I would say, hopefully, we can, we can do a trio in the future. Me, you, and, me, you, and Tom. Absolutely. That'd be amazing. I'd love that, mate. I'd love that. So yeah, thank you so much, Anthony. Appreciate it. And thank you for your time, man.